this is another video on how to secure your Zoom meetings. So I'm going to zoom.us. I'm signing in with my Concord email. It brings me straight to meetings that I already have set up. I'm going to hover over one of them that I want to edit. I'm going to scroll over to edit. I'm going to go all the way down. And it's going, I'm going to click require authentication to join. And this is what I want. I want concordps.org. I'm saving that and I'm saving this meeting. Also, just because I want to dot my I's and cross my T's, I'm going into settings. I'm going to do command F for find. And I want to search for authenticate. So I want to, I only want only authenticated users to join meetings. So I'm enabling this and making it blue. I want Conquer Carlisle up top. So I'm pressing edit and I'm setting it as the default. I do not want anyone dialing in. I'm gonna block them from the meeting because everyone has a school issued laptop. And last but not least, I'm going to only allow authenticated users to join meetings from web client. That's when you don't launch the app. Excellent. So that's making it more secure. Yesterday I taught you how to make it so that if someone is not in our account, they're marked as a guest. So this is excellent for our coworkers, our colleagues, because all of us have upgraded Zoom accounts. The students do not have upgraded Zoom accounts, so they will always appear as guests. But now that they're authenticated, they can only join using their Concord email. So if seeing the word guest after their name is frustrating or annoying to you, you can go ahead and disable that. If you often have meetings with your peers and colleagues, you're an administrator, you're a counselor, you're someone who works with adults a lot in addition to students, you can keep that enabled if you choose. So those are three different ways to help keep your meetings more secure. Happy Zooming.